All right, as the title suggests, I'm gonna show you how you can delete only photos with a specific macro. And I guess a reason why you may wanna do this, you might have 200 photos, and I don't know why you would have 200 photos, but you could have a lot of photos in a spreadsheet, but you may also have functions, you may also have buttons, you may all different types of functionality where you don't want to delete the sheet but you want to keep the other because you want to keep the other functionality now whenever this happens to me I usually just create a button add this function just so I can delete the photos only so that's what I'm going to show you today so I'm just going to go about my normal routine normally I would just add a button create the macro attach it to the button and then that's it test it out so to do this, I have to have the developer tab open. To have this tab, to be able to add a button to the sheet, uh, just make sure you go to Excel, go to Preferences, Ribbon and Toolbar, and then you can check the box here to make it available. You can X out of that. Should be able to click the button uh, so now it's asking me to name the macro. I'm just going to click new. I'll name it in here. I'm going to call this macro uh, Dell Photos. So the specific code that you put in is active sheet, and that means uh, the sheet that you're in right now pictures and delete so the current worksheet that you're in and it's just gonna take not even gonna select the pictures it's just gonna delete them uh, so this is created so now I can go back to my button I didn't add it to the button yet See, if I hit the button, it's just going to throw an alarm. So I need to click, hold control, click on the button, and go to assign macro. It's the only macro that I have. OK. And delete. And that's, that's really all there is to it. Um, another way, and actually the way I used to delete photos was from the home tab go to special and as far as I know there's no way to just select photos you can select all objects and delete but see I could hit delete right now but that's going to delete my button so this is a main reason why I usually just use the macro because I don't want to delete all the objects in my sheet And so I guess another way you could do this without uh, opening up the developer tab, which is kind of a, I don't know, I would call it a hackball way, but if we didn't have this available, you could go to the view tab. You already have macros available in the view tab. Uh, let's see our existing macro. Let me just start from scratch and I'll delete that. So let's just assume we don't want to add a button, we don't want to add the tab. You can't, you don't really have an option to add. Surprisingly, you don't have an option to add uh, a macro from here. So you could start recording a macro. Just click in a cell, click stop and then you could edit the macro that you started see here's where I clicked you could basically start from scratch here name the macro and active sheet pictures delete 
and you don't really need the button all you need to do you can actually just run it from here by selecting it and clicking run and it'll um, delete the photos so I hope that was helpful and have a good day